Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Alistair Robertson, and I call to order the nomination meeting of the Writing of Toronto Danforth. As I do that, I, I'd like to acknowledge some, some people who are here tonight to, to help lend some, some special excitement to the evening. Um, we have with us uh, the Honorable David, Senator David Smith. To my right. The Honorable Eileen Carroll, who's here. There she is. <laughs> it's my particular honor at this point to introduce to you the Honorable Ralph Goodale, former finance minister, deputy leader of the Liberal Party, who is going to say a few words to us now. Uh, Mr. Goodale. Mr. Chairman, thank you very much. Good evening. The good news tonight is that uh, I will not be giving any speech. I'm just passing through town on my way home to Regina tonight, but I heard that there was a Liberal nominating convention, and it just kind of drew me like a magnet. I wanted to come here this evening to say hello, to bring you the greetings and the good wishes of our, uh, our national leader, Bob Ray, and our caucus in Ottawa, and to cheer you on in the very important work that you are doing this evening in, success, in, in selecting the successful Liberal candidate. You know, this is, a, this is a tough seat. It's a challenging constituency for Liberals. The NDP have held this riding for the most part historically. But with a strong campaign, we can achieve Liberal success. Dennis Mills proved that a few years ago. And more recently, in Winnipeg North, Kevin Lamaru proved that as well, winning that seat from the NDP. Canadians, Canadians need more Liberals fighting for them in Ottawa. Nothing proves that more than the battle over old age pensions. 2005, Stephen Harper promised never ever to touch the old age pension. Not now, not in the future, never. And that promise is turning into a falsehood. And it shows their messed up priorities. They've got lots of money for jets and for jails, but they don't have money for health care and for pensions. It's an attack on the most vulnerable Canadians. 75% of those who receive the old age pension live on, live on incomes less than $40,000. And without the OAS, one third of those people would drop below the poverty line. It is mean-spirited. It doesn't make the needs go away. Simply cutting off the pension doesn't, doesn't solve the problem of need. It just dumps those folks onto the provincial welfare system. It's also totally unnecessary. The OECD, the University of British Columbia, York University, the University of Calgary, the government's own pension actuaries, private experts who worked previously for the Department of Finance and the Parliamentary Budget Officer all agree old age pensions are sustainable as they are today, so if it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> well, for that reason and for many others, we need more Liberals fighting for the fair and decent Canada that we all love. The NDP cannot win that fight. In a two-way polarization between the Conservatives and the NDP, the Conservatives are going to win 10 times out of 10. Only the Liberals could replace this government. And let's start doing that tonight in Danforth. Good luck and do your job well. That brings us then to our nominations. I call upon the Honorable Dennis Mills to nominate Grant Gordon. Mr. Mills. I had the privilege of serving this community in the Parliament of Canada for 16 years. That's why I believe this is a liberal writer. I also believe that it is very important that we live and work in the riding. And I think tonight that 
Grant's presence in the community, his family, his activism in the community makes him a really great candidate to reclaim this seat for the Liberal Party of Canada. Thank you. Sorry, I just wanted to clarify one thing. Um, my last name, G-O-R-D-O-N, uh, just so you all know, it's actually pronounced Kapompasis. <laughs> um, uh, I live in Toronto, Danforth, with my wife Jill and my three kids. And I chose to live here, not just because my wife told me to, but because I want my children to grow up in the most diverse community possible. And Toronto Danforth is extraordinarily diverse, culturally, socially, and economically. I do not need to be a woman to fight for women's rights, including their right to make their own choices about their own bodies. I do, not need, I do not need to be Greek or Muslim or Asian or South Asian to fight for the rights of new Canadians. And I do not need to be gay to fight for the rights of gays. If you nominate me tonight, I am ready to hit the ground running tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock or maybe 10 o'clock. <laughs> and I won't stop until every single person in this riding understands, remembers, that this country was, based, was built on the liberal values of fairness and equality. I won't stop until everyone is reminded of Laurier, Pearson, Trudeau. And I won't stop until everyone in this riding understands that the only party that has a vision for Canada that is sustainable and healthy is the new Liberal Party. The Liberal Party is the party that gave us the old age pension, universal health care, the Official Languages Act, the party that repatriated our Constitution, the Charter of Rights and Freedoms, same-sex marriage, liberal values define us as Canadians. Let's make this election more than a, than a bellwether. Let's make this election a referendum. Let's make this election a referendum on whose vision for Canada is better. The liberal vision for Canada, fairness, equality, and a strong central government, or the NDP's vision for Canada, which is based on fuzzy morals, fuzzy, a fuzzy idea, and it's based on unsustainable economics. I'm worried about issues in this riding like childcare, um, immigration, air quality, unemployment with young people. These are local issues. They are troubling, but I'm also troubled about the NDP. I'm worried about a Quebec-based NDP because I don't understand what they really are. The NDP seems to speak out of both sides of their mouth. When I'm in Quebec, I, I hear a, a, a party that sounds like the Bloc Québécois. When I'm in Ontario, not so much. I have some hard questions for the Rhodes Scholar who is running for the NDP. And I, and I want to hear some answers. The NDP is not going to know what hit them. Now, in 2000, I notice that's not bilingual, by the way. Uh, 
in 2004. Greece won the Euro Cup. Greece accomplished the impossible, a dream. The Dan Forth went crazy. It was one of the greatest celebrations I've ever seen. David beat Goliath. Now, if every one of you joined me starting tomorrow, I think the Liberal Party can beat Goliath. I hope you'll join me. Thank you. I now call upon George Zontis to nominate Triffin Hayes. Good evening. I am George Zivantis. I nominate Trifun Haitas for Liberal Canadian Toronto Town. Mr. Senator. Thank you very much, sir. I, I call upon uh, Tiffin Hayes uh, to make his remarks. I want to thank Greg for standing up to the plate with me today. Uh, it's a pleasure and privilege to be here with you. Uh, along with everyone here today who came uh, to support the Liberal Party. It is the responsibility of every individual to become the architect of their own character. Therefore, it ought to be the responsibility of every community to nurture and enrich that given character so that all may benefit. My name is Trippin Haidis. I've been part of the Toronto Danforth community for over 40 years. Excuse me, sorry about that. When I immigrated to Canada in 1972, I landed in Leslieville. It is in this community that I began building a strong and determined character that you see here before you today. It is through the encouragement and support of outstanding members in our community that I've gained the wisdom to choose the path that I have taken. Gaining wisdom is only good in theory though. Having the integrity to use that wisdom is what gives one the strength to walk through the path that he or she chooses. I'm happy to announce that I possess that cherished integrity and that much needed strength. Whilst working on a children's documentary inspired by the late cartoonist Ben Wicks, he suggested that I stay on course and develop my promising career in film and television. I took his advice to heart and began my career at 181 Carlaw Avenue. Ever since that fateful day, I have made a successful livelihood in journalism and media. Along this chosen path, I was also fortunate enough to meet my lovely wife, Mary, who is here with us today. Mary was born in our community, as were our two young children, and like myself, Mary works in the Toronto Danforth area at one of our family-owned and operated businesses. As you can see, ladies and gentlemen, the community of Toronto Danforth has for over 40 years been the center of the universe for both me and my wife. It will be a great privilege and honor for me to serve you and our beloved community beside the leadership of Bob Ray and the Liberal Caucus if you choose to grant me that privilege here today. Therefore, I stand before you and request that you grant me this privilege and honor to serve you and our community. Be assured that I will be there to work alongside all levels of government to ensure our community receives the services we depend on. I will be there front and center to work alongside community initiatives and assist newcomers to Canada. I will assist organizations and nurture small business ventures and community organizations that assist our youth, seniors, and individuals most vulnerable due to an absence of income. I will encourage our youth to get involved in our community outreach programs and politics. 
It is, after all, their future that is at stake, and they need to be as involved as possible. As your Liberal MP in Toronto-Danforth, I will function as your two-way lens through which both our community and the federal government may let each other know about their expectations, ideas, and activities, as well as their roles and responsibilities. I will stand up in Ottawa to support our Liberal vision for Canada, a vision that fosters and encourages a smart economy. It is time to turn those old industry jobs into long-term jobs that pay well. We Liberals encourage the building of strong communities with safe and healthy food, quality public health care, and first-class education. I will be there to protect the rights of our constituents and will also be there to represent true democracy on behalf of our community. Be assured that I will stand firm to fight Harper and the Conservative Party when they work against the will and best interests of ordinary Canadians. In conclusion, I look forward to serving you and, a, and our entire vibrant community as MP of Toronto Danforth. I look forward to earning your trust and vote, ladies and gentlemen. Together, we Liberals are the difference and we'll win back our riding in March. On behalf of my wife Mary and our family, I wish you and your family the very best. Thank you for coming out to vote for your Liberal, liberal candidate. With the scrutineers for the candidates, please report to the returning officer in the voting area now. Now, I, I made a, a couple of oversights. There are a couple of more distinguished liberals who are here who I did not acknowledge before. And so, uh, the Honorable Dr. Carolyn Bennett.
Um, can you comment on specifically this writing and, and the liberals in this writing? And, and well, it's an interesting writing. It's, it's changing slowly over, over the years like every other part of Toronto. I ran here in the late 70s and early 80s. Uh, already you could see the, the changes beginning to happen. Um, it's, a, it's going to be a, an interesting result tonight, but it's going to be a very well-fought campaign. There's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of liberals here. There's a lot of people who are looking for a, a real alternative to Mr. Harper. So yeah. I, I think and, we're... And, and there's potential here for a liberal to... Yeah, I mean, look, it's a tough race. I mean, we, the NDP has held this riding, you know, since the early 60s, except for a period with Dennis Mills, but yeah. it's going to be a close-fought thing. It's going to be very... You know, very hard fought race. We're going to have some good people campaigning out. Yeah. So it's going to be an interesting race. Look forward to it. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I have a result to announce to you this evening. The total number of eligible voters was 833. The number of votes cast was 355. The number of ballots spoiled was zero. So that's all good. I, I have two acknowledgments I need to make though before I announce the result. The first is the presence of Mike Crawley, President of the Liberal Party of Canada. the leader of the Liberal Party, the Honourable Bob Ray. Now, ladies and gentlemen, your Liberal candidate in the March 22nd Toronto Danforth by-election is Mr. Grant Gordon.
I'd like to say I thank my team, they've helped so much, but really this has been an individual effort. Um, so it wasn't long ago that I was in a backyard with um, Phil Winter and Catherine Davy, and we were vetching about the state of the nation, and they both said, why don't you run? And so, it sort of percolated for a while, and I never really thought, thought of myself this way. But um, if, you're, if you're looking for a scapegoat, someone to blame is Phil and Catherine. <laughs> but I thank you both from the bottom of, your, of my heart for being so encouraging. I want to thank Julie Cousins, Milton Chan, Tom Allison, who have uh, been so helpful, and the many volunteers who have helped. Um, of course, I want to thank my wife. Uh, but I want to thank most of all my three boys, because an eight-year-old, a 10-year-old, and a 13-year-old said, Dad, you have to go and do this. And they're the ones that really tip me over the edge. So thank you to all of you. I hope I, I do you proud. I hope we make this a really interesting election. And I believe the, the, the community that we live in, when, they, when they're reminded about what the Liberal Party stands for, and when they see the vision we have for the future, from Mike Crawley and Mr. Ray, all the way down to the volunteers, when, when they see what this vision is, I think they're gonna wanna join it. Thank you very much, everyone. Canvas. Uh, 